Munjaks are a genus of deer that live in South and Southeast Asia. In case of danger or conflict with fellow tribesmen, they make screeching barking sounds for which they were called barking deer. Appearance. Munjaks are relatively small deer. The body is compact with small, slender legs and a small head with an elongated muzzle. The body length is 2 meters, the height at the withers is from 30 to 40 centimeters. Males are slightly larger than females. They differ in a rather simple structure of the horns, each horn has only one, maximum two branches no more than 15 centimeters long. As with almost all deer species, only males have antlers. Horns change regularly, however, there is no specific season. Like musk deer and water deer, male muntjac have incisors in the upper jaw for biting and protruding from the mouth. The lacrimal glands are well developed. Long tongue reaches up to ears. Habitat. The Indian muntjac is a species of mammals of the deer family that lives in South and Southeast Asia. Muntjacs are relatively small deer. The body is compact with small, slender legs and a small head with an elongated muzzle. Outwardly, the munjak resembles a canine 40-60 cm high, the neck and legs are short, the tips of the ears are rounded, the muzzle looks like a fox. The front legs are shorter than the hind ones, which is why the back of the ruminant artiodactyl is hunched over. But the tail is rather long, up to 25 cm. Males are slightly larger than females. Indian muntjac is widespread in the tropical mountains of India and Sri Lanka, as well as in Southeast Asia to the islands of Sumatra Java and Borneo. It lives in tropical and subtropical deciduous forests, savannas and bush, on hillsides and in the Himalayas at altitudes up to 3,000 meters. Usually animals keep close to the water source. As with almost all deer species, only males have antlers. They differ in a rather simple structure of the horns, each horn has only one, maximum two branches no more than 15 centimeters long. Horns change regularly, however, there is no specific season. Like musk deer and water deer, male muntjacs have incisors in the upper jaw for biting and protruding from the mouth. The lacrimal glands are well developed. Long tongue reaches up to ears. Indian muntjacs live singly or in pairs. These are territorial animals. Males mark their territory with lacrimal secretions. When a predator approaches, deer make a short squealing sound similar to barking. For all his isolation, the muntjac is a big fan of chatting, with the same squeaky annoying hearing cracking, which can last for quite some time. The time of the highest daily activity of the munjak is the evening twilight. Deer have a well-developed sense of smell. Munjak goes out to feed early in the morning, but most often he does this when evening twilight comes. The animal carefully gets out of its shelter in the thicket into open glades. There he feeds on herbs, fruits, roots, mushrooms, and seeds. After satisfying hunger, the animal goes to a watering hole. Farmers do not like munjaks as they often graze in their fields. These small robbers sometimes destroy bird nests by eating eggs and hunt small animals that are killed by blows of their front hooves or with the help of fangs. The diet of animals is varied, leaves, shoots, berries, mushrooms and even bird eggs. Munjaks behave cautiously in the pasture, constantly being in readiness to flee. Having found an enemy, the animal barks loudly, trying to frighten him and warn his fellow tribesmen. Then the munjak hides in big leaps in the forest thicket. His enemies are tigers, birds of prey and pythons. Munjaks can breed at any time of the year, but most often the rutting season is in January and February. During mating, males arrange fights among themselves for females. They can inflict deep wounds to the enemy not with their horns, like all deer, but with their long fangs. Fawns are born after 180 days of gestation. Munjak twins are rare. The kid quickly gets to his feet, but remains in the shelter for a long time. Having strengthened, the cub begins to accompany the mother. It was noticed that in case of danger, the deer does not run after her, but hides on the ground. At the age of one year, he becomes sexually mature and is chased by his parents from their territory. It is noteworthy that five new species of munjaks were discovered and described for the first time in the 1990s, when the discovery of new species of mammals was considered very unlikely. In Asian countries, munjaks are hunted, their meat is considered a delicacy. Munjak is a common species. The size of its population is quite stable. Reproduction. There is no specific breeding season. The gestation period lasts 200 to 220 days. The female gives birth, as a rule, to one cub. For the first weeks, the cub hides in dense vegetation. At the age of two to three months, he is weaned from his mother. At the age of one year, he becomes sexually mature and is chased by his parents from their territory. Keeping in captivity. In captivity, munjaks are not whimsical enough and can be kept both in a closed aviary and in the open air. At temperatures below zero, the munjak should be transferred to closed rooms. 
When designing a fence, remember that mudjacks are capable of jumping to height several times their own. It is better to build a closed enclosure, warm enclosure, that has access to an open space enclosed by a fence. The exit should be covered with curtains to keep warm. In such conditions, the deer will go out into the fresh air even in winter. In the winter part of the enclosure, house, it is necessary to put straw, which the mudjacks use as bedding for sleeping. The house needs to be cleaned regularly and the straw changed. Mudjacks should always have free access to fresh drinking water. A salt stone should be installed next to the drinker, this is necessary to maintain the mineral balance of the deer. There are no problems with feeding mudjacks. Here they are not whimsical and eat any vegetables and almost all other types of plants. If you have a garden, you can let them feed on grass and other plants. If you keep a group of muntjacks then, usually this happens in the spring, you can expect them to give birth annually. During the rut, males can be aggressive towards other males and everything that enters their territory, but only when the females are nearby during the rut. The life expectancy of muntjacks in captivity is up to 10 years. Price. The muntjack deer today are not readily available as pets, but with a little perseverance you can certainly find one. There are deer magazines and exotic pet magazines which advertise the muntjack for sale. You can usually find them for sale on the internet by looking for exotic pets for sale or muntjack deer for sale. The price for a male is considerably less than a female. The male usually costs about $500-$700. The females start around $700 and have gone as high as $1,800 several years ago. They are becoming easier to obtain as more are being bred and the price is coming down. 